I'm in the Smithsonian Institute. I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. You know, I want to live so that then I can at least tell them, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm old enough now. Yes. I can say that. <laughs> say that. <laughs> okay, five, four, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Krillius, Team Racing Productions NC and producer. And today I'm here with the legendary and iconic Racine Pendavis. And joining me is also a member of the house, a legend and icon himself, the one, the only, Freddie Pendavis. Woo! I'm hey, Krillius, how are you? How's everything going? <laughs> We are doing good. We're doing great. Oh, child. We're so happy to have the, the actor, the student, the father, the son, the one, the only, <laughs> star of Paris is Burning, Pose, yes. and various we other films. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> the actor, the living legend, and the icon himself. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And your publicist did not send all of it. <laughs> <laughs> How much do I got to pay you? I got to ask you that. Yes. <laughs> so how are you handling, um, during this, this time, how are you handling the um, social distance? Acts, you know, the whole practice six feet away, don't go outdoors. How are you handling it? It's very hard for me. Um, I love going out. I love walking the city. Mm -hmm. um, so many times I just see so many interesting things, people interacting, parents with their kids, you know, kids with other kids, um, couples hugging and things of that nature. And right now all of that's gone. So it's really hard for me as a watcher of society, you know, um, I it, it's part of the pleasure of being here in New York. You don't have to actually be in it to do something. You could just mm -hmm. be around it and enjoy it. So right now it's really hard, yeah. So as an artist, how are you finding ways to create in this, in this time? Like, have you felt any creative spark, anything from it? Um, it it's a stifling feeling as far as creativity, it's stifling. There are so many outlets. I mean, as far as it goes, there's Pinterest, there's, um, what is it, Reddit, there's a million other outlets. But like I'm saying, you know, Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, everything else. But it's a thing of having very inventive, creative, actually funny things, things that are you know, oh, wow, this is really yes. interesting you and everything else. That's it. I've seen this one where this one, I mean, this bodybuilder, he's from, I think, Calgary, Alberta, mm -hmm. Cal Cal him and his girlfriend do these crazy things. You know, one day I seen him in a bathroom chilling, he looking hard and everything else. Then the lights go out, the lights come on, and he's in, a, he's in the, um, he's in the, um, what is it, the, um, the dress that she had on. And he yeah, got yeah, uh -huh. and everything on, and, and, and he got the bra on, and I'm like, oh, shit. That's the flip the switch challenge. Yeah, they flipped it. And I was just like, okay, that was funny, and it was kind of creative. Uh -huh. But not enough, you know, there's only so many people who can do that. You know, it comes off funny because him as a bodybuilder with three kids, you know, and a wife, they're doing that together. And, you know, it's great and it's beautiful because I enjoy it, the fact that they're the family together and they're trying to make creative ways of, um, cre have, have creative outlets to enjoy, you know, giving something to people and then enjoy being around themselves as well as, you know, not trying to kill each other. How about that? And talking about people and, and you, this whole moment that we are going through will forever transcend and will forever change the landscape of how people are viewing entertainment. You know, people are staying home watching films and movies. Mm -hmm. And we talk about your movie, Paris is Burning. We talk about the series Pose that you, many people don't know you are no longer, you've walked away from Pose because you are now 
furthering your education. You're part of a master program and you're, you're, you know, and you're working on achieving other things in your life. And then people always ask the question, they talk about the aftermath of Paris is burning, or some people are saying that there is a Paris is burning uh, sequel in the works. And, and, you know, people were like, uh, what's really going on? What's not, what's happening? What's going on? You talk to pretty talk to people. So you're asking the tea. <laughs> yeah. So how can, and I know people who are following you on Instagram here that you have no longer, you've kind of disassociated yourself with things. So let's get yeah. some clarity. What's the tea? What's the tea? <laughs> so, okay. This is the clarity. I have been in, I'll say, well, okay. I'll name them all. I've been in, what is it, Wigstock, mm-hmm. Burning, mm-hmm. Grays, mm-hmm. Holes. That's for, for credits, actually, of films that I've done. Now, the fact that I had all of those credits before I was 25 makes it where, okay, cool, you know, you did a little something. Yeah. Now, the fact that each thing I did besides Paris is Burning, have been things that you do them, you don't have to, you know, always bring them up, you don't have to always talk about them, you don't have to always mention them, they don't take over your life. Mm -hmm. Paris is Burning is being the only one that has kind of been like, okay, come back to this, come back to this, come back to this, come back to this, in which now here at this point, because they put out a new version of it, and I, I really don't get into po- the politics of, of things, but because I've seen certain things in the new version that politically or emotionally or mentally doesn't feel right because it doesn't encompass us all as a people, as gay, black, Latin, everything else, but it encompasses only one small segment of that. I, that's the reason why I say, listen, I need to back off. I need to let it go. I've done everything I did. I mean, I was, the, I mean, yeah, I was in the first part. In 2005, I was the one who did the voiceovers with Willie Ninja, you know, so yes, that was me. I was the one who kept coming back religiously. I was dedicated and loyal to the project. But, and you could even read it in Lucas Hildebrand's book that, it was not loyal to me. So in thinking of those things, I said, you know what? I need to just let go um, as far as it goes. Then, And just like so many times we talk about opening a window and letting in new fresh air in the house, I am opening up the window in my life as far as an art, as an artist mm-hmm. to welcome new and fresh projects that are worthwhile, that are accepting of the fact that I have these credits, I'm willing to work with people. I have a, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm hoping that some people even on the set could say that, yeah, I was an okay person. Mm-hmm. And um, that's it. And I think that's so wonderful. I think that people watching will always know that you have stamped yourself as a part of the fabric of our community, our lifetime. You guys have been a part of something that was never done before. Mm -hmm. So that will be forever etched. That's where the legacy is, you know. And 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 you are and to say that 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 you are part of that history is such a a, an amazing feat because everybody can't say that. That I have been a part of something that has forever changed the landscape of how LGBT people are viewed. And, I agree. I agree. And listen, as as especially as a young homosexual myself, <laughs> um, you know, growing up, that film really it changed my life. And you were a big part of that. Like you were. Um, <laughs> Because when I saw you, I saw myself, you know, this very, very young, because the first time I watched it, I was maybe 18, right? And I saw this, you know, young black guy, young queer black guy, very much like myself, 
you know, that was just trying to make it in the city. And I, I really connected to, to what you gave to the film. You know what I mean? So in things like that, um, I just want you to know from me, from, you know, a fan and from someone who you've actually inspired, you know, just by sharing your story. So thank you for that. And that will not be forgotten. How about that? Like I was saying, we were talking about how it is important that you have been a part of history, especially mm -hmm. LGBT history. And now that you are forever walking a new path, a new beginning, a new chapter, and this road obtaining higher education, now the doors will be open for you to enlighten another whole generation of LGBT people in this next chapter as you become doctor. <laughs> How about that? As you become doctor, you know. So, you know, and what through this whole process has something new that you've learned about yourself? Um, I learned that the th so many of the things that I used to take as a, as a younger person, I will not tolerate anymore because I feel I'm an adult just like you are. I went through so many of the same things. Why do you need to be extra? Why do you need to go 90 when really you could just go 50 and get the same result? You're not going to get anything extra faster by being all this ultra when you can just be who you are and get it the same way. How about because that? I have honestly achieved more being calm than when I've seen people lip out and everything else. I've seen people offer me things, you know, I, I go to the store, I'm, I'm doing this, that, and the other. Some person flipping out, da, da, da. And then all of a sudden I come up, they say, oh, hi, you want this, 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 this? Okay, cool. You did, oh, you didn't have the opportunity to give them that. That's the thing. I'm looking for beauty in my life and opportunity to help others. That's all. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So is there anything that you want to plug or any way how people can follow you, social media, anything like that? Okay, because somebody, like I said last night, uh -huh. is using my name on Facebook. I am on Instagram. I am Freddie Lee Pendarvis mm -hmm. on Instagram. It's simple. Just add the Lee, L-E-E, -E, behind Freddie. And that's, and you will find me. Okay. Awesome. I am a little funny about who I, who I actually, <laughs> like I'm saying, I have had, I have had the death threats. I've had my life, you know, I've gone through enough changes and that's it. Mm. So yeah, don't feel bad about it. It's just the thing that, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of trying to protect myself. Let's look like this. I'm in the Smithsonian Institute. I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. You know, I want to live so that then I can at least, Tell them, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm old enough now. Yes. I can say that. <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> About that. And that's so important, knowing that, you know, folks can connect to you. Because so many times I've had conversations with people throughout the years. And they always say, where's Freddie? And I said, you know, Freddie is, is pursuing higher education. He is become an advocate around health issues, family issues, spirituality, and a lot of things. Sometimes people, when they don't see you always in front of the camera, they feel like you've just vanished. No, you've just walking another path. And they, I died. they told me I died. Somebody told, before my mother passed away, the, the fiercest thing that happened was I was um, in another state. I came back and I seen my mother and she started crying and I was like, what's wrong with you? She said, they told me you died. I said, oh no, don't believe them. <laughs> Never believe them until I had oh, good man. But how bad, how horrible can you be to tell someone's mother that they died? Yes. Well, you know, they'll kill you off. You know, killing you off is like killing you off in a soap opera. You know, they'll kill a character off in a minute. 
but <laughs> but you know, but well, you know, that's that's well, that's a good thing because that means they're talking about you. <laughs> you know, so it's when they stop, we have to worry. Let's put like <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't mind either way. <laughs> And most of all, we just want to thank everybody. And we want to thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much for joining us. Of course. Everybody on, who connects with me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you. I love you all. And I hope to be doing something at some point soon so that then I could say thank you more and offer up my love and devotion to you as, as someone who wants to uh, let you know how much I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching.